one act, also known as the Trace Act, aka House Resolution 6666. Something being pushed by the Department of Health and Human Services along with the Center for Disease Control and the federal government in the name of public health, where they are now going to send mobile medical professionals, or you could say public officers, or police officers with no medical degrees whatsoever to test to see if a person in that house has COVID-19, if they had COVID-19, or if they have any symptoms of COVID-19. And if they do, they're going to push to have them quarantined. No, really, in real life. And we really need to understand what it feels like to be in Nazi Germany, because if we didn't understand, we will understand now, if this gets passed. They are proposing to take out an estimated $100 billion just for the first year of this program. I'm just trying to figure out where all of this mystery money is coming from because the economy is upside down and backward, but you have $100 billion that you're requesting to go house to house as if you care about the people when everyone is already quarantined in their homes already. To mention the over 25 million people who are currently unemployed because you told them to quarantine in their home so that they couldn't make any money as of right now, which means they are now at home with their children. Everybody's just chilling, chilling, chilling. And then all of a sudden, boom, you propose this to now go to every person's home because you care about them, but you really push them to be unemployed so now they can't make money. America, you don't care about the people. Interestingly enough, they even propose to hire people within the communities, including hotspots and medically underserved communities, a.k.a. black and brown, proposing to pay people who live in the neighborhoods to pretty much spy on other people to check to see if this person was coughing, this person may have shown some symptoms, this person had a fever, oh, I think I heard this person next door uh, uh, spitting up or sneezing. You may want to go check out those houses. So you push the people to be unemployed, then you get money allocated from the government to hire the people who are now unemployed at home to become government agents to push this new medical slavery that you want to institute. You, you, it's so wicked, it's ridiculous. And if anybody takes that money, well, that's the point. Many of these families who have no choice. America, you wicked as hell. I'm telling you, if anyone, anybody out there, I recommend, I, I implore you, I encourage you to not take a job as a snitch for medical slavery. And when I say snitch, I'm saying they're pushing to push us into medical slavery. They don't care about us. Meanwhile, the director of the Center for Disease Control, Robert Redfield, is now going to self-quarantine because he was exposed to somebody at the White House who had it. Katie Miller, Vice President Mike Pence's assistant, got it. Donald Trump's daughter, Ivanka, her assistant, got it. And at least 11 Secret Service agents. Y'all not doing too good at the White House. Whether if you believe it exists or not, if it is real or not, if it is a hoax or not, is irrelevant at this point because if so many people are getting infected at the White House, then how about we just do this? This whole $100 billion that is being proposed, this door-to-door -door Nazi Germany-ish type of proposal that you are pushing here in California needs to be maneuvered and moved to the White House first. How about you have all of them tested, not just tested, all of them. These vaccines you're coming out with, yes, the entire White House staff. Have them all line up and take them first, and then we will see if they survive all of this. Have them be quarantined in every single one of their own homes. Do all of this for everybody at the White House first and make it public. Do it live on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Periscope, Twitter. Yeah. Let's even take it a step further, if you don't mind. How about you go ahead and have all of the White House staff not just take the new vaccines that are coming out under Bill Gates, and Bill Gates, you're included in this as well. How about all of you take the 69 doses of 16 vaccines that are on the CDC's childhood vaccine schedule and see if you survive all of that. See, you see, you don't want to take your own medicine, but you want to use this wicked, evil type of behavior to push it on the people in the inner cities, but we ain't taking that no more. There is a petition in my bio so that we can fight against this from becoming law, prevent this from passing. Everyone go to the link in my bio. If you are on someone else's page, go to my page, Reza Islam, click the link in my bio and click the link which states, refuse the trace act 
we have to refuse it now because California, if they pass it, the likelihood of it passing in other states is very high. They know what they're doing. Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution is the right for the people to be secure within their persons, their houses, their papers, and their effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be infringed. You, you really don't read your own paperwork, do you? Wait a minute with your wicked, evil, insane mentality. We see how you raise this to a pandemic level to where now it supersedes to a degree the Constitution to where now it's in the name of public national security and public safety. Y'all better quit, man. We're not stupid. You do not have to be a constitutional lawyer to know how to read the Constitution. You do not have to be a person who is a humanitarian of a trade, should I say, or someone who has a law degree in order to read these damn words. People are not stupid no more. We are not going for this, and you need to cut it out. So please knock it off. Sign the petition in the bio. We are not going to consent to this. You're saying unreasonable, so that is a word you use because now what is reasonable is something that deals with national security and public safety. So therefore, they're going to try to maneuver around that. If you come to my door, I don't consent. That's just me. I don't consent. I don't know about y'all. Peace. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot. <laughs> Shout out to my brothers and sisters all the way out in Madagascar for coming up with an herbal tonic that what they said cures the coronavirus. I don't find that to be hard to believe. But then again, the World Health Organization disputed Tanzania when Tanzania wanted to get some of that. Why is the World Health Organization saying, no, 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 Tanzania, you should not get any herbal drinks from Madagascar, your brothers and sisters who are right there next to you. See, you're really trying to play and test the people. We're going to show up and show out like we did in New Jersey. And you tried to go ahead and crush the people up there to pass that law to remove them from having the religious exemption form so that they wouldn't have to force their children to be vaccinated. We're going to show up and show out right here in California. You think we're playing. We will show up and show out. We've done it before. We will do it again. But this time it will be far more people than you could ever imagine. We're not going for this anymore. All right. By the way, we won in New Jersey. I get it. Why don't you take that $100 billion that you're trying to allocate from the government and send it over to Madagascar to get that herbal tonic that will help to cure it? Or why not, you know, send some of that money over to Cuba? You know, the one who put sanctions on under Fidel Castro because you couldn't stand Cuba for standing up for themselves? Well, why don't you reach out to them? Because, you know, they have the best medicine, and Western medicine is terrible. So why not Cuba, Madagascar, any one of these countries that have come up with ways to cure it? Why not reach out to them? Everybody is finding out the truth about what's going on. So you want $100 billion to invade people's homes like Nazi Germany and push us off into quarantine camps, a.k.a. FEMA camps? Yes, they do exist. That's not conspiracy theory. That's documented. No. No. All you scared to death, Negroes. 